Hey everybody, I'm Waller's Wallet, and yesterday we got some great news regarding the American Express Gold Card. We're going to take a look at this change and actually see if it's as good as it sounds. But first, if you're new to the channel, this channel is all about credit cards, credit card rewards, and showing you how to use your points and miles to travel for less. So if those are topics that interest you, consider subscribing and turning the bell notification on as well. So news broke yesterday that the gold card is going to be removing its US restriction on dining and you're now going to be earning 4 points per dollar on all dining purchases internationally and domestically. Which I think is a great change and I know I've said for a while now that this is a change American Express has needed to make. So starting tomorrow June 6th, your gold card is going to be earning 4 points per dollar on all dining purchases anywhere in the world. Now this is only going to affect the dining category. The grocery category is still going to be US only. But while this is definitely a positive move by American Express, I think this actually looks better on paper at this time, but it could get better over time as well and here's why. Because I feel there were actually two issues with American Express when it came to this issue. The first issue was the fact that it was limited to the United States, which American Express is now taking care of and you're going to be earning 4 points per dollar everywhere. The second issue though is the lower or lack of acceptance outside of the US which American Express really needs to address. So while your card might earn 4 points per dollar on all dining purchases, if a place doesn't accept it then it really does you no good. And that's the real challenge here because American Express has a far lower acceptance rate than Visa or MasterCard outside of the US. And although American Express has personally given me the best currency exchange rate when you compare it to a Visa or MasterCard, the truth is it's just harder to use American Express outside of the United States. And there's actually another issue that's been plaguing American Express as well and that's the fact that restaurants haven't been coding correctly. So places that you were supposed to earn 4 points per dollar at, you were only earning 1 point per dollar. And hopefully, I really hope they figure this out because people should not have to be checking every transaction to make sure that they're coded properly. The bank should just make sure it's coded properly from the get go. So while I think American Express is on the right track here, they really need to improve that global acceptance to become more competitive with Visa and MasterCard which realistically is just going to take some time. Now with this exciting news, I've seen some comments online and even one like this in my Facebook group where people might be wanting to trade in their Chase Sapphire Reserve or other cards for their gold card. But I think you might want to think twice about that right now. Because while this looks great on paper for American Express, Visa and MasterCard still come out ahead for their international acceptance rate. And for that reason, I would still place the Chase Sapphire Reserve over the American Express Gold Card for international dining at this time since it's going to be accepted at more places. But what I think we can hope from this change is that Chase is finally going to update the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Because while the Chase Sapphire Reserve might be accepted in more places, if the place you're dining at happens to take American Express, you'll probably be using your American Express Gold Card over your Chase Sapphire Reserve. And that means Chase will potentially see fewer charges to that Sapphire Reserve card. And they really don't want that. So I'm hoping this drives them to update that card which I think it really needs a refresh anyways. But overall, I think this is an absolutely great move by American Express. They finally made a change that people wanted to see on this card. And this will actually have people looking to use their gold card when traveling abroad as well. And while I am a big fan of this update, American Express still needs to work on that global acceptance. But this change is almost enough for me to contact American Express to have them reinstate my gold card that I just canceled. So tell me, what do you think of this change by American Express and will this change how you pay for dining when you're traveling internationally? Hey, if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and if you know somebody who might benefit from this video, feel free to share it with them. And if you want to help support the channel, a simple way is to use the links on the website or in the description below. And if you like learning about credit cards, points, miles, cashback, or just a lot of traveling for less, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And until next time, safe travels and take care.